Namaste everyone. In this video, we are going to do analysis on a beam of square cross section. Let's go for static structural, drag and drop it into the project schematic. Engineering data is defining steel as the default material. We will use the same. Go for geometry, right click on it and select space claim geometry. Wait for some time for the space claim user interface to load. Once the interface loads, select rectangle option from here, click at the origin and then feed 10 enter, 10 enter from the keyboard for dimensions. Now press escape, choose pull option, highlight the inside area of this square, click and drag and before leaving the left click button, enter 100 enter from the keyboard. Now that the geometry has been defined, I can close this tab and I will see a green rectangle in front of geometry which means geometry has been defined. Now we need to right click on the model workspace and click on update. Wait for some time till it updates. Once it is updated, you will see a interface like this. Model space will also show a green tick mark. Now right click on the model workspace and click edit. Wait for some time till design manager loads up. When the design manager loads, it will look like this. Click on the fit, zoom to fit button or press F7 from the keyboard. You will see the object that we have drawn. Mesh for that has already been created. You can go on to change the sizing of a mesh by clicking here. We'll just go ahead with the coarse uh, meshing. Next, we need to define the boundary conditions. So I'll right click on the structural static, insert a force at the top face. Then click here and the apply. You will see that force is created in the top, field, top face. Now we need to define the force. We'll define it of course using the components. Let's go ahead and apply force in X direction and the force being 10,000 newtons. After that, I can go ahead and add a fixed support that I will do at the bottom surface. Select the bottom face, click apply here in the geometry. It will be shown here. We can see that the force and fixed support both have been added. There is a green tick mark in front of them, meaning they have been added correctly. Now, now that the boundary conditions have been defined, we need to select what results we want to analyze. So click on solutions and choose whatever results you want to calculate. So we will go with total deformation, one minus or equivalent strain, and one minus or equivalent stress. So all three have been added here, and there is a green, uh, sorry, yellow flash here, meaning that it has not been updated. Now click on solution, and click on solve. It will take some time to solve it out, and once it is solved, green tick marks will appear in front of all the solutions. That means all the solutions have been calculated properly. Now click on whatever result you want to see and the window here will update to show the same. On the left here you will see the minimum to maximum value and the same is shown here in the geometry. You can go to graph and click on the play button to see how it plays out. Same way you can go ahead and see the el elastic strain and equivalent stress. You can take photographs or images of this to include in your manual. After this you can close this window and we will get back to the work workbench. Here you can see all the seven step all the seven steps are showing a green tick mark in front of them which means that it has been calculated properly. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll take up some other cross sections and do the same analysis. Thank you.